Hey everyone, this is Sohini at Double Lab, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Amazon Comprehend Detect PII entities. Um, so the Amazon Comprehend uh, Detect entities can help you detect certain information like a user's address, age, um, AWS access key, AWS secret key, bank account number, bank routing, credit, debit, CVV, and all of these stuff. So this is a table that you can find directly through this website. I will link this up in the description below. Um, you can have a look at it. So these are the special stuff that our Amazon Comprehend Detect PII entity can do. Um, I'm also working on a course on this. Um, it's a Thinkific. It's, it's still halfway and it will be over soon. So in case you want to learn more about the Amazon Comprehend API methods and what are the wonders they can do, you gotta stay tuned to all my YouTube videos and I'm soon coming up with a launch on that. And then you can go to that course, follow that course and learn more about it. So now I'm gonna give a short demo of this particular method. Um, Using the detect PII entity, I can just imagine about one use case that's awesome. So there are scenarios when we have huge customer complaint um, that will contain most of the incident that has occurred, um, most of the hassle that the customer just faced. And that could be sometimes more than a page or more than two pages. Um, but we would want to just extract the customer's email address, uh, phone number, or maybe bank details in case we want to refund their money back to them or in case we want to do further steps with them. So for that, we need to access their personal identifiable information from the customer complaint. Um, I think then our comprehend method will be useful. The PII, detect PII entity method will be really useful. Um, so this is a sample complaint that I generated myself and I'm gonna be using this to show you an example today um, so I'm gonna navigate to my Amazon AWS console and this is our real-time analyzer this is our input text field so I'm gonna remove all of this part and in here I'm gonna copy this and paste it so now we're going to navigate to PII and here we can see the results. So in here we can see it has detected my name as name, my email as email and my phone number as phone number. So this is a fake phone number. Uh, this is not going to help you. All right. So jokes apart. Uh, so my name has a confidence score of nine zero point nine nine which is 99% likely that this is my name and 99% likely that it's my email and it's 99% likely that this is a phone number. So there you see that it has detected all these PI information so gracefully. So mostly when your confidence score is around 99% to 100%, which is 1.00, um, you gotta understand that this is good and you gotta understand that this is really accurate. So when your confidence score is below 0 0.98, um, around 0 0.95 to 0 0.98, it's a bit unlikely, and less than that is totally unlikely. So mostly when at 0 0.99%, um, then it's, it's very likely. So yeah, that's the demo that I wanted to share with you all today. Um, if you want to learn more about this, if you want to learn more about the methods that our Amazon Comprehend API contains, you got to stay tuned with us and you got to stay tuned with the course that I'm working on. I'm going to come up with that really soon. We're going to have a launch and we'll also be giving away free coupon codes for some of you. And there's going to be great surprises for you all. So just stay tuned. And also, if you really like this video, do not forget to hit a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.